can you? Please! I've been on the run for days. Now, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Oh, oh, yes, yes, perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Well, some drunk's been hoarding his money in this little place south of Rhodes down by the river. A lot of money and very drunk. At least that's what they say. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Let's go, girl. Kane, 
You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Well, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or... Or bows. Well, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters. If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both. I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say, families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. Oh, you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. I have so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. And something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he? Bo. There are worse. He's kind and he's caring and he's strong. <laughs> We're here. He, he he'll be out at the front. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just just to the first stop? Fine. Good morning, friend. You came. <laughs> you came. At <laughs> last, you came. Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> Oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey, cousin. No. Hey, no, no, you ain't slow. Get back. Oh, oh, no. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whip? We should have done this last time. Get on the train,
future. Almost. Almost. <sighs> All right, all done. That is quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How to life. Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. Don't deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. To start this train again. Look, is that the driver? He's abandoning us. Old tired, all right. I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out.
why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. <sighs> Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. Holy. Yeah! If you would give me a minute, please. If you wouldn't mind coughing in your sleeve, sir, I really can't afford it. Yeah, have a good one. Come on, girl.
Shoot the lock! Muchas gracias. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, 
and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him on to the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Comb hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. <laughs> Amen to that. So keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Martha. Don't we all? You two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? <coughs> hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey! You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we face worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, use a ladder. Find a way up. 
up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. It is justice that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges are... This is not a court! where you shall be tried, this is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but <coughs> no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. 
I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free goodbye Mary Arthur. How you doing? Been thinking more about Dutch and Eagle Flies. It can only end badly. Now, there's only so much we can do about it. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Yeah. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. You are a sight to see. Whew. Raise up them hands and think of heaven.
You got any business at the mine? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. <clears throat> Out of the damn way!
You got any business at the mine? Go to hell! Oh, Jesus Christ! Stand in line! I'm going to leave you! in a while. <laughs> Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean, well, I, I, this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Who's your son, Mrs. Downs? Where you think, down the mine, until he gets sick, which won't be long given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe, maybe you could just go fight some other battle.
Okay, there. Good evening, mister. Must be tough for you staying awake sometimes. Dockery. Oh, your mouth's a horn that's a goddamn fat. Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Go home here with Archie. <laughs> Be quiet, please. Oh. oh. Why don't you shut up? Hey. Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Can't even fight your... Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again! Hello, mister. Sir? Oh, do you have the time there? Not sure.
Amazing now. 